You have certainly heard the name of the living legend Michael Jordan. But do you have any idea about his net worth? Did you know that most of his wealth has not come from his basketball career? If you didn't, we have you covered in this video. Welcome, Breakers, as we dive into the luxurious lifestyle of Michael Jordan. Jordan's net worth and his spending interests are going to be the major highlights of this video. So let's get started. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, popularly known as MJ, is a retired American basketball player and a businessman. The 52-year-old Brooklyn native is considered one of the best forwards to ever grace the court. After all, numbers don't lie. MJ managed to create some impressive records during his heyday. The legendary Chicago Bulls forward played for 15 seasons, winning a record six championships. The six-foot-six six athlete transformed from being a player to a ruthless entrepreneur after retirement, a move that saw him become the first ever billionaire athlete. From acting to owning a sports franchise, Michael Jordan has proved to be a jack of all trades. Unless you live under a rock, you've at least heard about Air Jordans, if not worn them, the best-selling pair of sneakers in the world. MJ co-owns the brand with Nike, raking in millions of dollars in revenue annually. So the question is, just how much is MJ worth? Currently, Forbes places his net worth at a staggering $1.6 billion. Let's have a look at how Michael Jordan spends his billions. Here are some ways he puts that extra green to work. The very first investment that the big guy loves to put his money in is real estate. Like so many others with a sky-high net worth, Michael Jordan owns a fair amount of property. His primary residence is an opulent 26,000-square-foot mansion in Jupiter, Florida, located within the exclusive Bears Club community, a golf lover's paradise established by Jack Nicklaus and his wife. The mansion hosts 11 bedrooms and sits on three acres of land. Jordan purchased it for $4.8 million in 2011 and spent over $7.5 million on additional construction and renovation. Along with his dream home in Jupiter, Michael Jordan owns both a lakefront property and a luxury condo in Charlotte, North Carolina. He also reportedly owns a property in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we'll just assume it's something palatial. Then we have the mansion he still owns in Chicago's Highland Park, which he famously built from scratch and decked out with all sorts of goodies, including an NBA-style basketball court. PGA quality putting green, cigar room, wine cellar, nine bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, pool pavilion, tennis courts, fitness center, card room, and more. It's been sitting on the market for six years and is currently for sale at a drastically reduced price of $14.8 million. Hmm, maybe he should have cut back on all those personal touches. Michael Jordan was one of the quickest athletes of his time. He was famous for his mighty jumps on the court. And we guess he still loves the speed in the air because he spends a good amount of money on transportation as well. As you can probably guess, Jordan spares no expense when it comes to getting from point A to point B. First up is his private jet, a Gulfstream G550 that bears the Jumpman logo and a call sign of N236MJ, his jersey number, the number of his championship titles, and his initials. He's also known to charter a 230-foot yacht called Mr. Terrible, which hosts eight cabins and a full-size basketball court, among other things. That's not to mention the 80-foot Viking Yacht Company fishing boat he keeps in his marina. Throughout his life, Jordan has purchased no shortage of exceptional cars. Some standouts include an Aston Martin DB9 Volante, Cadillac XLR, Mercedes-Benz SLR, McLaren 722 Edition, Porsche 911, Range Rover, Ferrari 599, GTB Fiorano, and many others. As amazing as those cars may be, we do wonder if he had a hard time fitting inside that Porsche 911. The big guy is big at heart as well. With his enormous earnings every year, he is giving back to various communities. With big money comes big responsibility, and Jordan has stepped up his philanthropic efforts in recent years. Recipients have included various charities across Chicago, Hurricane Florence relief efforts, and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, the Institute for Community Police Relations, American Red Cross, Make-A-Wish, Friends of the Children, and more. 
In 2017, he put up seven million of his own money to fund two Novant Health Michael Jordan family clinics in Charlotte. The first one opened in October 2019 and is now up and running. When you take a look at Michael Jordan's net worth, you'd think there's no way that his love of golf could put a dent in his earnings. However, you'd be wrong. All of us have seen the magic of Jordan on the basketball court, but little did we know that he is a big fan of golf too. A truly avid golfer, he often takes his love of the sport to lavish extremes. Reportedly tired of waiting his turn, Jordan built his private golf course, aka Grove 23, in Hope Sound, Florida. It's also safe to assume that he's played at all the major courses around the world and probably purchased every conceivable golf-related product known to man. Speaking of which, he owns a custom golf cart with the Jumpman logo on the front. Moving on, as we know there's got to be a little vice to balance the virtue, Michael Jordan has some guilty pleasures as well. Cigars and gambling seem to be Jordan's biggest vices, but only one of those vices is big enough to hurt him where it counts. A perennial competitor, he was once known to wager hundreds of thousands of dollars on a single round of golf. However, that's just scratching the surface in terms of his gambling addiction, which apparently knows no bounds. It's even said that he took $500 from a fan at a charity golf tournament after winning a bet. Jordan's gaming and gambling addiction get even stranger from there. Sure, he throws, or used to throw down big money for poker tournaments. But did you know that he reached level 100 on the video game Bejeweled to become a Bejeweled demigod? Or that he used to bet on games like Sudoku? The man likes to compete is what we've gathered. When you have wealth on this scale, you might have made some enemies on the way to your goals. Hence, keeping some security won't be considered an overreaction. When traveling overseas, Jordan always brings a security team, and with good reason. It reportedly costs him about $1,000 to $1,500 per hour. His codename among the personnel? Yahweh, which is the Hebrew word for God. Sounds about right. With his legacy and goat tag, Michael Jordan is nothing less than a brand of his own. The Jordan brand name brings big bucks, so it's only natural that a slew of companies illegally appropriate it. Enter his team of high-powered attorneys who keep a tight grip on his franchises and copyrights. In 2016, Jordan won a case against a Chinese sportswear brand that was using his name and then donated the winnings to charity. When you come at the king, you best not miss. So that's today's video, guys. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Also, subscribe to our channel for more exciting and intriguing content in the future. Till next time, breakers.